Hey everyone, welcome to my full coverage foundation routine. This is the routine that I do whenever I need that full coverage, flawless, waterproof makeup that lasts me all day long or all night long. I do not do this every single day, but when I'm going like all out, like full makeup, like the whole glam process, this is what I do and these are the products that I love to use. Keep in mind, I do have dry skin and I find that all these products work really well with my skin, but if you do have oily skin, it might be a different scenario. The key to beautiful makeup is having nice skin. So if you have beautiful skin and a great canvas to work with, then your foundation is gonna look flawless. So great makeup starts with having beautiful skin. Before I apply any makeup, I prep my skin, I moisturize, and I also put an eye cream underneath my eyes. I've been really loving using a pore primer lately, and lately I've been loving the Anna Sui Pore Smoothing Primer as well as the City Cosmetics Pore Minimizing Primer. I make sure that I smooth that all over my face, focusing it mainly on the center of my face where my pores are enlarged. The City Cosmetics one is actually a pore targeting treatment. I love using this one because over time it minimizes your pores. Next, I move on to foundation primer, and this is a really important step for me because it's the glue that's going to make your foundation last. You can have the best foundation, but if you don't prime your skin, it's just going to wear off. I've been loving the Paul & Joe Moisturizing Foundation Primer. I use it in the shade 01. This is the like best-selling primer in Asia, and it really is amazing. It gives your skin like this nice, healthy glow from within, and it really adheres the foundation onto my skin. My under eye area is one of my problem areas because I have such dark circles because my skin is so fair. What I like to use for that is the Paul & Joe Illuminating Touch Pen. I use it in the shade 01. A great drugstore alternative to the Paul & Joe Pen is also the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Brightener and Eye Primer. And I just apply it a little bit underneath my eyes and just pat it in with my finger. It just brightens up my under eyes and give it a little bit of a glow and also color corrects any darkness I have underneath my eyes, which preps me for my concealer. My all-time favorite foundation, the one I always go to, is my Makeup Forever HD. I just, every single day I use this foundation. It's just my go-to. I know I can rely on it. It's silicone based, so it's waterproof. It stays all day. It looks great on camera. I just, I love it. I'm in the shade 110, and I either use my Beauty Blender or my Sigma F80 to apply it. Today I'm using my Sigma F80. I just buff it into my skin, and I love the finish that it gives. Two concealers I love using is the NYX HD Concealer in Porcelain and the Hard Candy Glamouflage in Ultralight. I zigzag between the two, you know, one day I'll use one and one day I'll use the other. Today I'm using the NYX HD. It's light enough for me and it highlights my face. So I apply that on areas that need a little bit of concealing and areas on my face where I want to bring out. And I'm using the Beauty Blender to blend that in. I find that it really moves around the concealer really nicely underneath my eyes and just meshes it together and it really keeps the pigment there. After I've blended out my concealer and, you know, it's all smooth and even and I'm looking flawless, I always set my under eye concealer and I love using the Bed Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo. Remember the banana powder that everyone talks about, like banana this, banana that? That is Luxury Powder by Bed Nye and I use the one in the shade Cameo. So if you are fair skinned, do not use the banana one use the one in Cameo and I like to use that with my beauty blender and I just dap it you know in the lid and apply that underneath my eyes I find that applying that with the beauty blender just seamlessly just like molds the two together and my under eyes just look flawless and matte and I love it to set the rest of my face I like using the NYX HD powder I like applying that with my makeup forever 124 brush and here's a tip if you find that you have hair on your face and it's lifting try and apply your powder in a downward motion and that way it will not lift up the hair and same with your foundation apply it in a downward motion I did add a little bit of color to my face I will link my contouring video down below if you want to check that out but that is my completed full coverage foundation routine and when I'm finished I just set my face with my Urban Decay setting spray and I'm on off. This makeup literally lasts me all day long. I feel flawless. I'm completely matte, which is what I like. This is the makeup that I just always go to. You know, it's, it's my go-to and I love every single one of these products. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Bailey Vanderbeen and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Oops. Foundation win. A oh my god, they keep walking by! <laughs> oh my god, hi! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I can't do this. And my getting treat. Just never gonna have any. Wait, does that look bad? Who really knows? I need a haircut. My moisture, like, you know, business on.
my um any shit uh big like I just put a color to my face with my trouble you know 